Thank you so much, everyone, for staying after lunch and after so many talks. Uh, I am so afraid to talk that I have to break uh, this fear. And I will start by... Uh, uh, my name is Ahlam Akram. Ahlam in Arabic means dreams. But actually, my husband said that dreams could be nightmares too. <laughs> so, you never know where you are, where am I. And the other thing I want to just say, many years back when I was pregnant and I was so full and big and I don't know what, my husband looked at me and he said, what do you call this, the bus? I said in Arabic, we call it biz. He said, you are bazooka. <laughs> it was her bazooka. So I will start now with Basina. Basira is British Arab supporting universal rights. Oh, I don't know if I can know what you know. Uh, can you look at me? Oh, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to operate it. So, uh, I'm sorry. I need to know. Just, okay. Thanks. Basira is an Arabic an Arabic language means a future vision that is based on wisdom and humanity that connects all of us. As Basira, we believe that without Arab women being made aware, empowered, and encouraged, there will be no democratic change for their rights, which are desperately needed in the Middle East and North Africa. The MENA region. Basira is a non-profit organization holding screens of thought-provoking films, such as the documentary which we presented last Wednesday, that deals with current women rights issues in the Middle East and North Africa, MENA region. Basira works on breaking down the barriers of misunderstanding that is often stand that often stands in the way of better community cohesion between Arabs and the host culture, as well as building a new bridge of understanding of values protecting women's rights in British culture. Our objective is to bring subjects that are uh, often difficult to discuss related to violations of human rights to the forefront, such as FGM, honor violence and underage marriage. To allow an, an open space for informative discussion and constructive debate, emphasizing that our identity is not threatened by integration, rather it is enriched, elevated, and strengthened. Encourage and support community cohesion. Sorry. Community cohesion. Um, and understanding with respect to the other assure all that we are richer with two cultures rather than one. Basira aims at breaking down the inhibition that fear and fear that prevent integration between cultures and prove that understanding assimilation will enrich both. We promote cultural understanding and respect to build an infrastructure for a culture of peace between East and West. Our goal is to empower women in the Arab region through awareness and education and to acknowledge that they are better served by the Universal Convention on Women's Rights rather than by some of the national legal restrictions in their own countries. To encourage to encourage British Arab women to integrate and to take an active positive role in their newly adopted home country in the West. To encourage them to have their voices heard in creating the change required in their home countries based on their experiences living in Britain. Uh, what is the problem? The absence of an enlightening culture that is restricted by fundamentalist views and thinking is destroying the humanitarian culture in general and destroying women's emancipation in particular. We don't want to be a photocopy of any man, 
but we want to be a partner with everyone to stand up together, to stand up together for a better future. I don't want an advantage because I am a woman. I only want equality and justice. The way forward. We must acknowledge the fact, although you may not like it, you know, that Islam at the time of its of inception was a revolution that gave women rights did not exist in, in that era with other religions. These days, Muslim majority countries have a negative reputation for their ability to protect the rights of women. A new legal and educational system should be adopted in Muslim countries, completely separated from any religion that takes the Convention on the, right, the Rights of Women as a guideline for communities and women in particular. Policy usually discover, discover crimes against women only by accident because the community does not inform the police about, about it and everyone in the community tries to cover it up. So we need to change that community culture that is based on negative support for, the, uh, for one another by emphasizing that women are the same of the same value as a man. Using religious, we need to use religious clerics as much as I dislike them and I don't want them, but unfortunately we have to utilize their cleverness and the ability uh, in the past few years in destroying the community uh, things. To use them to talk openly at Friday ceremony can be a way to reach out. And it is needed to be shown that the violence against is, is, is the violence is not against Islam, particularly that it is never mentioned. Uh, sorry, this is a misinterpreted uh, sentence. What we want to say is that any violence against women that is not mentioned anywhere and should not be part of any law, we should encourage them. Those who claim FGM or honor violence in Sunnah, as a prophet, a prophet uh, says and signs, base their relief on the very weak hadith, which are not substantiated, and there is no excuses for uh, their, yeah, for abuse. In Lebanon alone, in the past two months uh, or less, three women have been murdered, killed by their husbands, and of course there are many more examples. This senseless violence must be stopped. Why now? We can no, no longer afford to hold back half of the world's population. The 21st century has to be different for every woman and, right and, and girl in the world. She must know that to be born a girl is not a start of a life of hardship, hard, hardship and disadvantage. Together, we must make sure that she is safe, and secure from gender-based violence. She has a human rights that are respected, including reproductive rights. She is empowered economically and in every way through education, equal opportunities, uh, participation and leadership. So, I, I wonder if we have a, 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 some time to show this uh, Uh, to show a, a, a trailer of one of the films which we have uh, uh, screened recently. In any case, it's a Lebanese film that talks about the power of women when they get together to create a change. It's, it's, it's the power of women, Christians and Muslims when they decided that the change is needed to protect their sons and their future as a community they achieve what they want and together we need to use that that as an example for a future uh, a future culture of peace that has no barriers and no geographical borders as women we are all the same in this particular